Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your World Wonder Ring Stardom live reactions. We will be live reacting today to a grand total of six matches over the course of two different shows, which took place on July 27th and August 3rd. Uh, we kind of considered doing a seventh match, which obviously would have just been the main event of the August 3rd show, but we kind of realized that the winner was kind of obvious and it was a championship match, so the winner got made even more obvious and we just really weren't interested. So we're going to skip the main event of the second day. That said, the list of matches that we will be reacting to today is in the description. I'm really glad to see everyone that showed up today. I saw the Chief in, I saw Abel, I saw Aaron. Aaron, it's great to have you back, man. I saw Kirby, I saw Nigel, I saw Derek. Everyone that's here right now, thank you so much for showing up. It's great to know that we have, even if it is small, a group of loyal fans that are interested in keeping up with our coverage of stardom. That's always awesome to see. That said, we are gonna be starting out with Natsuko Tora and Jamie Hayter taking on actually what team are they taking on i didn't even you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up the list of matches that i have in the description it's uh konami and zoe lucas friend thank you konami and zoe lucas i i just forgot i just blanked but the beautiful thing is it doesn't matter because it's in the description you guys can look for yourselves just like i'm doing now and i can tell you first match Natsuko Tora and Jamie Hayter versus Konami and Zoe Lucas. Second match is going to be Oedo Tai versus Tokyo Cyber Squad. I love TCS, guys. TCS is my favorite faction. Even if none of the individuals in TCS is necessarily my favorite individual performer, it's still my favorite faction because of the fucking style and the entrance and the attitude. I love everything about TCS. Then we've got, it looks like three representatives from Starves. Stars, if I can speak, versus three representatives from Queen's Quest. And then on the 8 3 event, we are going to be live reacting to the Stars Civil War match here Tam Nakano versus Starlight Kid. I'm not 100% sure what brought that to, to kind of have to happen. I don't really know if there's a story behind that or not. Uh, but then we're going to be also reacting to TCS versus Oedo Tai. And then another Oedo Tai match against QQ. So. Six matches in total, but let's start things out with Natsuko Tora and Jamie Hayter versus Konami and Zoe Lucas. We are at 28 seconds. We always want to start these at 28 seconds because the first 27 seconds are an intro that plays on every Stardom World video, and it's easy to just kind of skip. Like, once you watch it one or two times, you don't need to see it again. It's all good. John, you said you were at 28 seconds already? I am, friend. I am. Excellent. We are already there, so I'm going to do the countdown, and hopefully you guys are able to synchronize and watch along with us. Three, two, one, go. We face TCS in Kanazawa. Oh, go for it. Jamie. Let's hear what Jamie has to say. Kanaz I love that she's eating while cutting this promo. I don't think Jamie likes Zoe Lucas. I don't think she likes her face either. Oh, she's beaten her many times before. Oh, wow. Jamie Hayter just totally overlooking and dissing Zoe Lucas. You're yeah. going to take that, Zoe? Kanazawa. Come on, Jamie. Get it right. Jamie is low-key adorable. Here we go. Tokyo Cyber Squad. <laughs> Happiness. Ooh, no kawaii. Their opponents. Their opponents <laughs> stink. And that's it. That was the promo. Wow. I don't know if my heart can handle all this adorableness, Ash. And it's only the first match. The first to six. I, and and really, it's kind of strange because you usually think that the Japanese women are the most adorable thing in the world, and yet it was Zoe Lucas this time that got you. Zoe Lucas and Jamie Hayter, Loki. I mean, look at her. Look at all that sunshine that I know wants to emit from that face. Oh, man. My heart's in the danger zone. Seeing all this cuteness. <laughs> It'll be okay, though, guys. We're going to get through this together. And I really didn't get to uh, give my personal kind of intro running on the card like I know we usually do. So during these entrances, if I may, 
I want to thank everybody for being here. I mean, Ashton, already it seems like we've got more of a hardcore and passionate following for this than we ever did on any progress live reactions. So I'm really digging the following we got here. It's cool to see that we made a good choice in covering stardom. I mean, having I, having just watched as much of stardom as I have compared to the amount of progress that we watched, I also think stardom is a significantly better product. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have no doubt I'll come to the same opinion when I grow more emotionally attached to the promotion. Because right now, I mean, the wrestling, of course, is excellent. But I can't wait to establish relationships with these characters. I already told Aaron that I do feel myself establishing somewhat of a relationship with Hazuki because she's amazing. Yes. And I wanted her to win the Wonder of Stardom Championship, and I was so disappointed when she didn't. Uh, so that made me all up in my feels. Sad version. Yeah. Um, but no doubt she's going to do amazing in the five star grand prix i am rooting for her she's like my ishi of the tournament i want her to win so the only difference is there might actually be a good chance for winning who knows let's find out together as now we've got zoe lucas and konami coming out drenched in gold yeah yeah they are you ever uh you ever win a lot of trophies ashton no i, I, was, I, you know, I think i might have won second place in a science fair when i was like 11 years old but that's the extent of it you know what? Retroactively, I'm so fucking proud of you for getting second place in that science fair. You <laughs> killed it. You killed it. I'm so fucking proud of you. Um, I Jimmy I Hater's like, running away from the ring. What the hell? Look, she's making a tactical retreat. Okay. She's look at like, Zoe Lucas up. doing a split on her entrance. Oh my god! And look at the little rainbow tutu over there. All that fluff. Zoe Lucas uh, is everything the WWE wishes Alexa Bliss was. Yeah. For sure. She's fucking adorable, but also she can talk. Maybe not as well as Bliss, but she can definitely talk. She cuts good promos, and she can fucking go in the ring. And haven't we even, because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to remember my prior experience with Zoe Lucas. Didn't we see her in the promotion I'm thinking about? Because I don't know if it was WWR or what. I think or it was Pro. Rev Pro. Or if it was Rev Pro. Didn't she work heel that night? Yeah, dude, she is a heel. That's the thing. She's a heel even in stardom. She's a heel. I See, I never get that vibe, though, with her. That, that's what confounds me. It's like she's a heel. But, I like, mean, I guess there aren't really any, like, true heel heels in stardom. But she works like a bully in stardom. Yeah, that's that's very that's a nice juxtaposition. I feel like it's the female version of me. Everybody's like, oh, John's so sweet and cuddly. Like, no, no, I'm a heel, bro. Like, yeah. I'll be the first one to laugh at your misfortune, so uh, watch yourself. Yeah, Oedo Tai, I feel like, used to be heels, and then Chris Wolf came along and ruined that because she's just too fucking charismatic and adorable, and everyone loved her. It wasn't her fault, and it, it wasn't her fault, and even if it was, we'll never blame her. We were thankful for it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Chris Wolf is amazing. The only woman who I felt like was really close to buying a Scum Squad t-shirt because they actually seemed open to the idea, and we just... I just never really aggressively. You just never closed the sale. <laughs> uh, no, story of my life. <laughs> but, uh, See, yeah. You remember know, we, your ABCs, <laughs> always be closing. Yeah, there you go. And we see all that gold. And just kind of tell my story. I only gold I've ever won. I mean, some pointless bowling trophies that are pretty much participation trophies because you got to pin down that one time you shut the fuck up. And I also got second uh, place in my eighth grade spelling bee, which I would have gotten first place if I knew how to spell tetanus correctly. So fuck you, spelling bee committee. It's, let me let me let me try T E T A N U S, right? Uh, I believe that's right. Yeah. Holy shit. I can spell yeah. better than 12 year old you. <laughs> yeah, that's weird flex, but OK. <laughs> 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 Wait, today. what grade was it you said? Eighth grade. OK, so it was 13 year old you and bigger win. I was going through puberty. All right. So, There's the bell. That doesn't affect how smart you are. Yeah, maybe affects your face. Sorry. Maybe, I'm sorry. Maybe a little. No, we you're probably right. It might. <laughs> no, no, no. That was me being incredibly defensive. And Jamie Hayter's trying to get a clap along going. I like clapping. Oh <laughs> wow, she busts a move better yeah, than I Yeah, I was going to say, Jamie really wants to dance. It's like, I think she only got to participate in like two or three Oedotai dances. She's trying to make up for it. Don't let her repress the spirit. Did she just her rub her, her hand in her armpit before she locked up with Konami? She might have, yeah. I think I'm surprised she, did. she didn't do that with. I'm surprised she didn't save that for Zoe Lucas though, given how much she just is overlooking her and doesn't seem to like her at all. And off the ropes, Jamie Hader reverses. Maybe Konami. she doesn't feel like she needs mind games for Zoe. She just kind of has her number. Nice spin kick there by Konami. Nice I'm telling you, Konami. 
I've really learned that like the types of wrestlers that I've, I've developed an affinity for the last few years, because I always used to be about like, oh, yeah, the scientific wrestlers, technical wrestlers, anybody with like a kickboxing type background, oh, what a shoot kick, or is just proficient in kicks, like Aleister Black and Kenta and Konami, like, uh, I see you, you know, like, I really love that style. And that was Zoe Lucas and Konami, double boots there. Oh, axe kicks. On the ropes. Oh, and Natsuko Tora with the trip up there. Already starting to remember some names. I'm leveling up, people. Yay! Jamie Hayter. So choking proud of you. Lucas. Oh, my God. Face. Oh, my God, again. Don't make me blush on the live chat right now. Jace is here. Jace oh, Face Meyer Jace is here. Face Meyer. And you're only <laughs> somewhat late, so... You know what? Let's do a running timestamp, brother. I'll leave it to you. Uh, 814, 815, 816, 817, 818, 819, and 820. As Natsuko Tora now choking Zoe with the boot. Oh, and Jamie giving her a noogie. Oh, no. Oh, God. The childhood that's coming back to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> when we outgrow such abuses, it's... Such a relief upon the soul. Oh uh, now let's go Tora breaking the face with the top rope. Uh, Nothing's worse than wet willies, though. I Dude, wet willies speak. suck. Oh, fuck. Positively Too much haunting. experience. Too much experience. Two, Zoe <laughs> Lucas kicks out. But nothing stings worse than losing, and that's what Zoe Lucas and Konami are looking to avoid. I mean, God knows they're not used to it with all the gold they carry around. And Tora there with another forearm there. Zoe Lucas fighting from the ground up. And Tora, oh, just kicking Zoe Lucas in enemy territory. Forearm back up, though. Zoe trying to rally. Another forearm. Grabbing up. Back fist there. Look at Zoe Lucas. Let's go Tora, though. Amazingly still on her feet. Zoe Luke is now going to charge in the corner. Spin kick there off the ropes. I wonder if Konami stole the tag. Drop kick there. I don't think she did. No, she didn't. Camera was not focused on that. One, two. Natsuko kicks out. Now there's the tag. Oh, and Konami going up top. Drop kick. Oh, and, and now there it is to Jamie. Konami. Oh my god, knee. again. That was a knee. And a sliding kick there. Well, I love her sliding shoot kick. That's really unique. You don't see anyone else really do that. No, you do not. Oh, and I was just about to say, oddly enough, that Konami has arms, but she's like, eh, they get in the way. But here she is applying an arm bar. Oh yeah, dude. Her her signature move is the triangle lancer, which is like a reverse disarm her, basically. Like, it's a... I don't know. It's kind of a weird, like... She sits on their chest and, like, almost yanks their shoulder out of their socket. It's kind of crazy. Damn, that's brutal. I, I like it. I think it's like a shoulder and elbow submission at the same time. Nice. Oh, Look nice, at that. Nice, nice fisherman, fisherman suplex. Hand. That was gorgeous. What's funny is it didn't start as a fisherman, but it almost, like, finished as one, which is, again, you don't see that very oh, often. Oh, oh, oh. the kick. It's Konami. And there are times when... Um, Konami does make certain facial expressions, but she reminds me so much of Io in the face. Ah, okay. Like when you get to see her in like interviews and stuff, she really doesn't look that much like Io. When you when you just see her in action in the ring and certain facial expressions, she reminds me so much of Io. It's crazy. Right, Natsuko. What a backfist uppercut. Back uppercut. Nice, Natsuko. He strikes here. Shoulder, Shoulder block. block. Oh, the road's gonna be a senton. Low leg, leg drop. drop. Kick out by Konami. Isn't Natsuko's finisher like a, a leg drop off the top rope? I don't know for sure. I'm asking chat. I think you might actually be right about that from the little we've seen in Natsuko. Oh, oh Konami! Konami Two slaps and a spin kick off the ropes. No, oh, Spine Buster. Buster! Spine Buster! And Jamie. Oh, here, and here comes now. Jamie. Oh, just stop. It's really interesting the in stardom because. Oh, and yeah, thank you, Aaron. Yeah. The triangle answer, hundred percent winning. Where the winning percentage of the triangle answer is hundred percent, or as she says, "yak pasento." Nice. 
Oh, Jamie Hader. Yeah. What a Oh, Jamie face. literally said, fuck off. <laughs> oh, wow. Face, face buster, buster there by Zoe. Lucas. Hooks the leg. Two. Jamie nope. Hader kicks out. Good job, Jamie. What I was going to say, though, is it's a really interesting dynamic in stardom because of how small the sort of median is for a girl. Like, I feel like the average girl in stardom is like 5'2 or 5'3. Like, they're really tiny. Whereas in WWE, the average is like 5'5, five, 5'6. Five, five, so right. someone like Jamie Hayter comes in at like, I want to say she's like 5'6, maybe like 145. And she is able to work like a fucking monster in stardom because of how small everyone else is. Right. There's a, what a kick there. Running, that was like a PK almost there by Konami. And there's a leg drop with a split by Zoe, too. And Jamie kicks out. And now. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, that's another thing, too. I think I mentioned that in our last stream, but it's easy to forget. Konami was trained by Asuka. Kick out. Two count again. Zoe keeps hitting these split kick leg drop things that aren't just, just aren't working. Well, I'll tell you. Asuka should uh, be very proud of her student. Her student has more gold right now than she does. And, oh, oh Zoe, man. nice kick. Oh, scorpion kick there. Could be an inverted DDT, maybe? No, Jamie. Oh, Hader Jamie grabbing, grabbing the hair. Jamie grabbing the hair. Shoves her into Natsuko. Forearm uppercut. Spins her around. Big boot by Jamie. One for the pin. Is that going to do it? Stacking her up? Do anything. No. And Konami breaks it up. I admire the hair pull to escape the maneuver. I like that Jamie understands that it's not illegal. It's just frowned upon, which yeah. doesn't matter to me. You can do it as long as you break when the ref tells you to. Oh, oh try to run on the scorpion. Oh. Attempted scorpion kick there. Jamie, though, with a... Oh, backbreaker. Knee. Two. Kick out Whoa. again by Zoe Lucas. Zoe's staying in it. Tell you, Zoe Lucas is really isn't really isn't working heel in this match at all. She's just kind of working your standard match. Jamie's more working heel than anything. Scorpion kick there, and kick. now Zoe Lucas inverted. No, no. Jamie Duck. ripcord back elbow. elbow. The ripcord lariat. There it is. That could be the beginning of the end there. Brain no, buster, she's maybe. Got her up. Oh, over the knee. That's it. That's gonna be it. One, two, three. There it is. Damn. Basically, like um, what Adam call you, what Adam Cole called the last shot before NXT, because now the last shot is the knee, the running knee. But it used to be that exact move, like the the vertical lift, brain buster over the knee. Yeah, and that's Jamie's excellent finish. So excellent work by Natsuko Tora and Jamie Hader. Well done to both women. And, Jamie yeah. is eccentric as all hell. I never picked up on that when she was wrestling in Women's Wrestling Revolution. I am so here for it, though. I know, right? Mm, good just shit. Scrolling to the end of the video to see if we get anything going on with the women. And it looks like a no. All right, then we are going to move right along to Oedo Tai versus Tokyo Cyber Squad. Tokyo Cyber Squad. Ah, oh, God, I love them. All right. Related content. Oedo Tai versus TCS. All right, here we go. All right, I'm ready when you are. You're at 28 seconds already? You bet your ass I oh. am. <laughs> that makes one of us. That's <laughs> all you did there. Did you? What did I do? It just seemed like you were going to confidently like, ha, that makes two of us, but you said one as to confidently say, I'm underprepared, but I won't be for long. Nice. <laughs> oh, I mean... Damn, okay. Well, anyway, 28 seconds. <laughs> Count us down. Three. Wait, actually, no. I want to make sure that everyone is able to keep up with us. So get to 28 seconds on the fourth match of the 827 or the 727 day, guys. It's it's a lot of tie versus TCS, eight woman tag match. Just want to make sure everyone's able to be there. And at 28 seconds. And now I'll do a countdown. Three, two, one, go. And here is Oro Tai. Hazuki and Natsu. <laughs> yeah, Natsu. Natsu loves just going on forever about how proud she is to finally be a champion. I'm proud of her too. Where are we today? Kanazawa. Uh, Bobby can't keep a straight face. Uh, 
That's great. All right, here we go. Odo Tai gonna come out first. Man, it, we we really we really should have gotten into this earlier so that we could have seen Odo Tai dance before every match, but you know, they, they do the water spit now as a way to make up for it. Maybe one day they'll get the dance back, friend. You never know. Mm, yeah, I mean it's possible. It is wrestling. That's always a possibility. But I feel like if Kagetsu would ever put something on the line versus the ability to dance again, they would still just lose because Kagetsu's plans always blow up in her face. <laughs> I'm never taking Kagetsu gambling with me. Not if I <laughs> want to avoid massive debt. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm excited for this match, though. It should be a fun tag match. Oh, yeah. I, I actually wanted to kind of... Um, Fill people in. John, you said after our last show that the two people that stood out to you in a positive way were Konami and Hazuki, right? That's correct. Well, since then, I have watched a bunch more stardom matches and a bunch more stardom promos and all that stuff. And I have three kind of not obvious favorites. And I always say not obvious. Like, obviously, I love Kagetsu and Mayu and Momo and like, like the, the, the obvious top women that are pushed as top women. But the ones that are more like a step below that, that I absolutely love, that aren't really billed as like the top woman, are Tam Nakano, Arisa Hoshiki, and also, yeah, Hazuki. Hazuki's awesome. She's so good. Nice. And those three women that I really like are actually kind of intertwined because Arisa and Tam had a long running story about Tam just hating Arisa and feeling threatened by her because of her friendship with Mayu and all that stuff. And it eventually culminated in an awesome, awesome wonder of stardom championship match that I did watch and enjoy. Um, but then Arisa and Hazuki just randomly at some point, they just kind of fucking hated each other. Like it, it didn't really seem to have a starting point. There was a big like multi-woman tag match where they were kind of paired off and Hazuki was throwing really stiff forearms. And then the next time Arisa was in a match against Hazuki, she mentioned like, I don't know what it is about her, but she pisses me off. So for some reason, and then like that, I think was even the match where they were like grabbing at each other's hair and like getting really like feisty with each other. Like it was, it was crazy. So they kind of have a history of hating each other too. And then we just saw their awesome wonder of stardom title match this past Thursday. So my three favorites have a very interesting kind of backstory, all kind of linking back to Arisa actually. Yeah. Very nice. And speaking very of, nice. I want to say Arisa is in the main event of this show. And Tam, Tam probably is too, actually. Yeah, it's the two of them in Mayu against B, Momo, and Utami. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. I, uh, I'm i definitely Death. thinking all... Uh, Dad, the Amazon and company. <clears throat> what were you about to say, though? Uh, I definitely feel like, yeah, Hazuki... Konami, I'm really gonna see where I stand with Konami when I see her more in singles, right? Because uh, I could, I could see myself laying her, and I could also see myself being like, I like her, but I don't love her. Right. But I really feel like Hazuki. It's already quickly becoming like she's so good in there. Yeah, um, she's great. Another person, though, especially being so young, like I'd like to be an early adopter if I do genuinely uh, fall for her there and her in ring work would be Momo. Because Momo's really Dude, yeah. good. Momo, 19 or 20 years old. Like, she's crazy young. Yeah. And, yeah, I just, again, I look forward to really developing that emotional connection with Stardom because I want to go. But look at her, though. I mean, Hana is another one that I've really grown to like. And she is also, like, I think she's 21. Like, she's crazy young, too. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I feel like she's more well put together than Momo because she has, like, a clearly defined character. She's already made, like a really interesting look for herself that isn't just like, let me just fit in with the rest of my faction kind of deal. And I feel like she has, she kind of, she kind of knows who she is more than Momo at this point. Right. Momo is almost just kind of like an amalgamation of everyone that's ever kind of trained her. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And yeah, there is Tokyo cyber squad and all of their excellence. Yep. A number two for Aaron is Natsuko Tora, and three is Jamie Hayter. Very cool that we've learned Aaron's Yeah, so three. you're going to get to see two. all three of your favorites in these first two matches, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. 
Plus, I feel like Aaron probably did tell us his second and third favorites, but it's been so long, and I'm I'm really glad to have you back on the team. Aaron. Right, it's great and especially with like Natsuko yeah. Tora, he might have said that she was his second favorite before, but we didn't really know anything about her, so we couldn't put a, a, a face to that name, you know? Yeah, all I know him for, and he even said on Twitter to me today when we reconnected, that Husky is to him what Kyrie is to me. So you know, which is really that. special. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. So, you know what, Aaron? I'm glad you're back on board. And in a way, you know what? I'm glad that uh, Hazuki failed to capture the uh, Wonder Stardom Championship because when she does it, I want us to be here for it, and I want you in the live chat for it so we can all just fucking hug and celebrate that Stardom yeah. did something so wonderful. So, wasn't meant to happen for a reason. And we still got introductions here. Hazuki! Oh my God, precious and talented. It's just not right that she's the only member of her team right now that doesn't have a championship. She needs to win some gold. Exactly. I keep telling John, Aaron, I really think it would be an amazing story if Hazuki did win the five star this year because like, there's like that whole thing with her kind of feeling like she's being left behind by Momo because Momo already won the wonder title and now she's already kind of targeting the world title. If... Hazuki could manage to win the world title before Momo. That would make her feel like, well, I guess I'm not being left behind, am I, bitch? With Momo. Yeah. So I love that. I really want that to happen. I just don't necessarily, uh, I'm not predicting it to happen, but I hope it happens. Dude, Hazuki winning the five star Grand Prix again. I've only been in stardom for like a cup of coffee, but I would, I'd pop for that. Because you can just see she's so good at what she does. And there is Bobby Tyler. Oh man! What's funny is I followed a new uh, a new Kyrie Sane fan account today because you know you can never collect enough. And um, the picture they shared of Kyrie for I guess like their Kyrie appreciation tweet was one of her in stardom. Oh. And I was just like, oh my god, squeeing in all eras. Uh, this match is gonna be something. And there is Hannah. Kira. Hannah. Oh, man, we got 10 people watching now, guys. If you're enjoying our energy and enthusiasm, if you're here for the Hazuki love or just general stardom love, please leave a like. We'd greatly appreciate it. As we're getting ready here to have these two teams lock up. Referee checking that. Tokyo Cyber Squad. Referee very thorough here. And, oh, oh, no tie on the attack. There's the bell. Yep. There's the bell. I misheard it at first. And Oedo tie. Kagetsu so proud of herself. Her team laying waste to Tokyo Cyber Squad. <laughs> Abel, Zoe Lucas used to be in stars until she turned their back on them. <laughs> yeah. And now Kagetsu here, taking Jungle Kiona. And her face there into the chair. And then the umbrella to the back. Well, that's just not nice. I will say I have taken a liking. Oh, shit. I have taken a liking to Jungle Kiona, too. So that's kind of starting to slowly happen for me. I feel like becoming a Jungle Kiona fan is inevitable for every stardom fan. It just is a matter of when it happens, whether it's instant or if it takes some time. It took some time for me, but I definitely think that it's starting to happen. So, and now Kagetsu giving uh, giving Jungle Kiona a tour of the venue. Yeah. And Andros there. Oh my god! Oh my Jungle god. Kiona right at the door there. Did the door even open? <laughs> and Kagetsu just walking around like a boss with that umbrella in hand. Oh, and wow, look at Natsu going after Hana. They used to, like, didn't they used to be, like, rivals with Inoedo Tai? Didn't they used to, like, not get along? Possibly. I, I'd have no idea, dude. But the way she's carrying <laughs> her, I wouldn't be surprised. Abel, why did Zoe do that? <laughs> Scoop slam uh, there. Abel being innocent and naive is the best thing. Uh, dude, it's the only thing that makes me keep my faith in humanity. And now Kagetsu. Gonna stack up Jungle Kiona with Hana Kimura. 
Oh my god, what's this gonna be? Oh, what the hell? Oh god. <laughs> Are we doing like a game of dodgeball or something? Jungle Kiona looks so horrified, the poor thing. It's like, no, don't do this! No! Oh my god! Jesus. Holy shit! Jesus Christ! There's bullying, and then there's that. I, I don't know. blame Jungle. I'd be screaming, too. <laughs> she really chucked them, too. <laughs> it's one thing to, like, be thrown by a human, because you can always go back first into the chairs, which would hurt, but at least you'd have, like, you know, brace for the fall. That was, like, face first and all that shit. <laughs> I know, <Damn>. dude. <laughs> oh, Kiona, I would not blame her if she just laid down with the rest of the match, like, man, screw this. <clears throat> Aaron, that's perfect, Yes. I don't know if you're, you've are you got chat open, but Aaron just said Jungle Kiona is the Juice Robinson of stardom, and that is perfect, yes. Yeah, I'll add double, I'm sure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my, my God. God, with the traffic cones. <laughs> Fucking not nuts, too, man. Not too so proud of herself. <laughs> it's like, I helped. <laughs> I can trip. Uh, oh, and now it's, oh, it's Hazuki and Bobby. Oh, but there's the attack to Andra. I feel like uh, Hazuki and Andras have just been double teaming Bobby pretty much this entire time. Tag back to Hazuki. And Bobby Tyler's just wondering, when does the torment end? And another. I really like how Hazuki does scoop slams. And neither. I feel like everyone count. in stardom does scoop slams like that, dude. Mm, I guess that's just the way. Where they I don't like, think we put their arm around their head like they're going to do a vertical suplex, but then they scoop them. I wonder if that's just safer because it looks like it's safer. But... Yeah. Now foot on the neck. Well, the thing is, like, when you're taught to do a scoop slam originally, like, the way that we are used to in the U.S., you're taught to, like, lift them up, and then when you have them, like, when you have their full weight in your control, you switch your arm around their neck anyway. So they're basically, it, it is safer to do it the way that they do it in stardom in the sense that there's no risk of dropping them while you're switching your arm around. Right. You're just starting the move the way that you end up finishing it. Rather than starting it one way, switching an arm mid scoop slam, and then, you know, dropping them that way. That's so smart. And Kagetsu, speaking of smart, doing the old water trick of spitting the video. Oh, Bobby Tyler, forearm, forearm, forearm. Off the ropes. Oh, Kagetsu grabs the leg. Hazuki, double stomp. Oh, my God. Sending Bobby to the apron now and pulling her back in. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. And Kagetsu. With a double stop. Double stop. Rope oh hung double God. stop. Jesus. And now tag there to Natsu, who's very proud to be a champion. Yep. And she'll let you know it. Oh, now he's got the referee in the corner there so that she can be evil. And Bobby Tyler there. We definitely haven't seen Hana or Jungle at this match legally at any point. Bobby Tyler, they're hitting the gut there. With that whip. <laughs> Fucking Natsu going full BDSM on her. Oh. A shiver, and then she's probably going to do the Bronco Buster. Yep. And Natsu now. And there it is. And Rockova. extra bit of it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Never forget. She did that to like a 13 year old girl the other day, the last week. Oh no. I hope Chris Hansen doesn't have a subscription to the star world. Uh, <laughs> Bobby oh, Tyler. Nice. And Zagiri by Bobby. You know what I realized too? Cause I know like I, I had an epic with the star model. What, like I wish there were more singles matches. Hana. But honestly, Oh, Hannah and, what a boot. Cover. Two. Be hilarious if that was the win. It would have been. But uh, no, I, I know like I had an epic, like why so many tag matches. But honestly, the more I'm thinking about it, when we're making comparisons of like how stardom does things compared to the rest of the world, probably keeps their workers healthier in a way because you're not always doing well, yeah, 100 It's, it's very, very similar to New Japan, honestly. New Japan does that too. But the difference is we don't watch as many New Japan shows as we're going to be watching of stardom. Right. Larry there and boot there. Jungle and Hana both. Hana with a boot, Jungle with a sliding lariat there. Look at this cohesion by Tokyo Cyber Squad. Very impressive. And it's going to be a scoop, scoop slam. slam. 
And then goes right for the pin. Two. Nope. You never know with Natsu, man. If she would lose to a scoop slam, I wouldn't even blink. Yeah. Jungle Kiona here. <laughs> Abel literally and figuratively. <laughs> Oh, Jungle County are trying to turn not to over. over. And oh no, not to grabbing the bottom rope. <laughs> Hana Kimura trying to break the grip there, not to. Jungle Kiona gonna try again here. She's gonna. Oh, look at Natsu! What a counter! counter. Nope. And that's, that's, that's that champion's instinct now that Natsu's got. Oh, and Jungle stopped the tag. Oh, man. And scoop slam. And now Jungle. Oh, a giant swing. Nice. Yes, Jungle. Natsu about to go a swinging. Oh, man. Oh, man. And knowing that this is Natsu, I wouldn't be surprised if she was disoriented the rest of the match. <laughs> That's a great one. Where, where am I? Who are you people? And what's even happening? <laughs> She's going to try and tag the wrong side. <laughs> that was oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, my God. Jungle Kiona here. Oh, man. I'm excited for the, the Kraken show because we're getting Jungle in a, a singles match against um, Arisa. That match is going to be dope. Nice. Oh, my God. Andras with a big forearm and then the drop kick. Damn. What a drop kick right to the head. Damn. And Andras up to the middle rope immediately. Kagetsu took out Hana. Andras now. Big shot. What a drop oh, kick oh. by Andras. Pin. Two. Jungle kicks out. Good job, Jungle. Jungle. Oh, Andras. oh, Andras saying that's it. Oh, shit. Nope. Jungle too strong. Jungle being like, uh, excuse your face. Yeah, never forget who the power wrestler is here, Andras. What an elbow, though. Oh, got gotcha check there. Nice, Larry. Larry. Barely even took Andras down, though. There's the Larry to take her down. Oh, I think Death is 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 primed to get at the tag here. And Hoski! Oh, we're going to go high speed! It's about to be a high speed matchup! Here we go! There's Do the it! Tag. There's the yes. tag! Hoski springboard! Lands on her feet! Off the ropes! Ducks the Larry at springboard! Lands on her feet again! No oh, wow! Yama! Death with the arm drag! Misses the back elbow off the ropes. Hatsuki with the victory roll. Oh. What a counter. Oh, what a counter. What a counter. Pins, pins, pins all over the place. Where it ends, nobody knows. Hana with the. And Hana making sure that Death Yamasan didn't get pinned there. Hatsuki wants her, her high speed title back, man. She didn't even get pinned to lose it. Jumping, spanking <laughs> there by Death Yamasan. What Damn. a jump there was. Damn. Now Bobby Tyler back in. That was a very brief exchange. I wanted to see more of it, but gotta I'm imagine they're saving that. Got to be saving that for a high speed championship match. Yeah, Bobby Tyler Sharp definitely needs a singles rematch. Come on, Hazaki. Back elbow. Off the ropes. Pump kick. What a kick there by Bobby yeah. Tyler. Nope. Forearm. Forearm, back and forth. These Damn, Hodzki's intensity is incredible. Yeah, it is. Oh, what a, a super, super kick. kick! Took her head off. And Hodzki still kicked out. Hodzki ain't no chump. Ain't gonna pin her that easily. Headless Hodzki over here kicking out. Oh, man. And now Bobby Tyler in the corner. Hazuki seated in the corner, got up to vertical yeah, base, able to move out of the way. Not again. Oh, Andras with the forearm. Natsu with the back elbow. Hazuki with the back elbow. 
Kagetsu with a forearm. Shoots her into a boot from Andras. Boot by Natsu. Lung blower there, or code breaker, I guess it would be even, by Azuki. Pin, two, and all the breakup. And Azuki, again, it's got to be a bit frustrating, but she knows she has to close. Yep. It's going to be another scoop. Oh, no. Almost like a driver starts going down. Oh, she's thinking about atomic car. bombs away. Oh, I didn't get to see this on our last batch. Oh. Honestly, really dudes, wanted... don't get your hopes up. It's not that impressive. It's just a seated senton. On the throw there. By Dead the Amasan. Oh, double drop double kick from Hana and Jungle. Kick. They need to go after the tag titles. Or actually, no. Right. I'm trying to remember who the tag team champions are. I thought it was just Jungle and uh, Konami. But I thought, didn't they drop them to Oedo Tai? No, I thought they retained, didn't they? Did they? I don't know. They might have. Yeah, I thought they retained. I, I think I even remember commenting like six well, times. I mean, obviously, Hana and Jungle aren't going to go after him. Jungle already has one of them. That would be silly. Oh, what a Red. into the what is that again? Flat like a flatliner. flatliner yeah. I lost it. I lost it, but I got it again into the flatliner. Oh, I thought that was going to be hit, but Hazuki just kicking out. Yeah, man. Bobby Tyler seeming a bit frustrated. Can't say I blame her. That was so close. Oh, but she's measuring that keg. Wants another super keg. No. Slinging another boot. Trip. How's it going to be? Two. That's three. it. Now, that's it. Hazuki gets it's the win. Bobby Tyler. Because she's fucking awesome like that. Look, I is so proud. Way to go, Hazuki. They played the wrong song. Why are y'all playing TCS's theme song? This is Hazuki's win. Hana going after the ref? Oh, wow. <laughs> and Hana now going to take her leave. As Oeta Tai wins the day. Well, I like Jamie Hayter's still dancing. They all are. They're all dancing. Even Kagetsu is dancing. Kagetsu, I mean, other than the, like, trademarked Oedo Tai dance, Kagetsu doesn't do stuff like this most of the time. They're just so happy they won. What a dominant faction. Yeah. Cut a promo, Hazuki. Challenge for that high-speed championship. Is there time left? Not really. Yeah, not really. It's not going to happen. Yeah, they're leaving. No. Nope. All right. Which means we got one more match left on this day. And it's Stars versus Queen's Quest. Sure. This is going to be fucking nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be pretty great. All right. Yeah, this this match is, is definitely going to be fun. Uh, as as I know you like to do, we're going to give our audience time to get to 28 seconds on this match uh, with us. Yes, I am we are, there, on, Ashton, the, we are so. on the 727 show, and we are on the fifth match, Stars versus QQ. Yes, so we'll just give everybody a, a moment or two to get there with us. And, yeah, very fun match. Hazuki getting the win. So proud of her as I'm becoming a, a you know big fan. I have no doubt that by this time next year I'll be like a like a rabbit mark for Hazuki. So this time next year, how about this time in like two months? <laughs> yeah, because you got to remember you're gonna get to see her in seven or actually eight singles matches. Oh, so um, good. between August twenty second and like late September. So it's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys. Uh, again, fifth match is the main event of the 727 show. And uh, Chipin just absolutely loves his British girls, man. He loves Jamie Hayter. He loves B. Priestley. I don't know how he feels about Zoe Lucas, but he also loves Utami. And those, th well, you know, B and Utami and Momo, who we're seeing here in the middle, are going to be taking on Mayu and Tamu and Arisa in the next, uh, in this match. So, John, you said you were ready already at 28 seconds? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Momo, it's the main event in Kanazawa. QQ versus Stars. St I believe in all six of you. We want to excite the people of Kanazawa. Let's go. And that's it. Simple little promo. 
Oh my god! I was so excited! So hot. There's no AC? That's terrible. That's horrible. I think it's hot because we're the burning heart of stars. Oh my god. Are they? Best today. Let's do our best today. Does it? Yeah! Did Tam and Arisa still not like each other even despite their blow off match, or is it like. I don't think they're nearly as hostile with each other, but they're not like best friends yet. They'll get there. Probably, yeah. They're both so adorable. Like, how can you not? So, like, I don't know. All right. Well, I will say, though, even if they can tolerate each other, their cohesion should be better in this matchup than some of the past content that you've shown me. They should be able to be one team, which I think would definitely be in their best interest. Yeah, I mean, I, I told you um, in a Facebook message that before their singles match, Tommy wouldn't even shake Arisa's hand. Yeah. After the match, she did. So see, baby steps. Yeah. And there's Mayu being all adorable and shit. And Arisa, of course, the wonder of stardom champion. Very prestigious title. It's stardom's intercontinental title. And when I say that, I mean, think about the intercontinental title in the 90s, not so much today. And uh, <laughs> think about... Tam here being all adorable. And Mayu, of course, she says she doesn't consider herself the ace of stardom, but she might as well be. She's the icon of stardom. Yeah. She won't deny that nickname. And there is the star's pose. Good luck, ladies. You're all so amazing. <laughs> and then there's Queen's Quest. I love how into it Abel's getting flaming stars. That's right, Abel. That's their name because there's no AC in there today. Tam's pre-match stretching regimen is fucking fascinating to me. Yeah. She's got to be one of the bendiest people on the planet. It's ridiculous. Is she going to do the leg up thing? I want you to see how ridiculously flexible this woman is. It's crazy. No, she might not. All right, so limbering up her own leg. They're all doing, like, um, stretching. Like, they're all kind of, like, making sure that they're limber for the match. But Tam's regimen is just ridiculous. There is Queen's Quest. Wait, or Queen, wait, I'm trying to remember here. What? Because those look like stardom titles. Are they the artist of stardom champions, or? Well, no, no. um... Utami is the current future of stardom champion. B is the world of stardom champion. And Momo That's right. I forgot B was. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's the red belt. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to learn everything eventually. And uh, I think Queen's quest is probably my least favorite of the factions, honestly, which is right. Because I mean, if I had been around when they were originally created, they would have easily been my favorite because it was fucking EO's faction in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Eo was the fucking queen who was on a quest. <laughs> uh, I mean, they have really talented people in there, but as a faction, I, I totally see like where you come from. I just uh, like I just like flashier matches. They don't really have anyone like my number one favorite performer in Queen's Quest is Azumi, and she doesn't really ever get anything substantial because she's still in high school. So like. She can't exactly go around winning championships when they don't even know if she's going to still be wrestling in two years because she might decide to pursue a career after high school. Yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing about stardom, man. They get these kids so young that you never know. Like, when they're finally at that crossroads of, well, do you want to legally, you know, be a performer and get the big push and do all the things? Or do you want to be boring and go to school and make an honest living, you know, in the in the broader economy? Uh, I mean, I guess I could be a wrestler. Excellent choice. Yeah, and like, it seems pretty obvious that Azumi is going to stick around and be like, literally just like carry the company into the future, but for some reason, they just really have not pulled the trigger on her. Oh, man. My that is the one. 
Yes, my oh, Look at their streamers. The Mayu just seems so full of love and life. Protect her at all costs. Dude, apparently Rossi, like the president of the company, has come out and called Mayu lazy. <laughs> what? I know, dude. I was like, wow. And apparently this was a few years ago because I heard about it in that podcast that you uh, sent me to from Jackie. Yeah, okay. But yeah, apparently at some point Rossi referred to Mayu as lazy. Oh, well, Rossi, suck a railroad spy. And, like, crap. not even lazy in Japanese. Like, he literally said the word lazy in English to make sure that English speakers could understand what he was saying. Damn. Suck two railroad spikes, Rossi. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> and there is B. Priestley. Priestley! Abel, Queen's Quest is like Bullet Club. Leader left for WWE, and now they're not as cool. Unironically true, yes. Be getting checked. Can you imagine the shock waves it would send through stardom if one member of stars could pin B Priestley in this match? They definitely set themselves up for a world of stardom. Yeah, that would be dope, it. for sure. Or on the other side, I mean, the Wonder of Stardom title is incredibly prestigious, and Orisa holds it. Yeah, that's also true. And Tam's kind of sent Orisa away there. We saw it would actually make uh, sense for Momo to pin Orisa because Momo doesn't have any titles at the moment, and she's also not really in any title pictures. So for her to pin Orisa would make a lot of sense. We'll see if she can get it done. <clears throat> There's a lock up there. Yep. Tam and Momo, side headlock there by Tam. I'm going to see Tam in a singles match on the second batch of events because we got her versus Starlight Kid. Yeah, dude. Star I really like Starlight Kid, too. And Momo there, 19 If Arisa didn't already hold the title, I would want Starlight Kid to go after the Wonder title because she is 18 or 19 now. So she's uh, she's in. She's, like, committed. Starlight Kid at 19 put on a clinic with B. Priestley for the World of Stardom Championship. I mean, when you looked up uh, Prodigy in the dictionary, no doubt you'd see Momo's pitcher in there. And oh, there's a kick right to the back. All right. Kick to the gut there. Oh, my God, Momo. Just getting flipped around by Tim. So, shoot kick to the back. Nice shoot kick there. Momo, though gonna do the same thing here oh what a kick there by momo to tam damn damn tam yeah there's a kick to the gut there oh tam gonna reverse return fire oh oh but she's not gonna stop at one three four five six seven damn tam Oops. again Goes for one right to the chest but what rolls away smart right yes Roundhouse kick to the head. What a kick to the head there by Tam. And now, oh, clearing the apron. And now, Irish Whip here off the ropes. Mayu with the kick Black to the buster. gut. Tam with the blockbuster. Arisa with the senton. knees. Nice senton there by Mayu. I feel like you're a second or so ahead of me, but oh, going to get a triple team here. Drop kicks. Yep, there. Stars and triple drop kicks there. Let me find a place to. Okay, I did a quick pause play. We'll see if I'm still ahead. Oh, knee right to the midsection by Tam. Cartwheel Three, style. Two. Nope. Kick out. What did you call it? Style? I like a cartwheel style. You know, yeah. Cartwheel okay. Yeah. In. Oh, B. B with the. Oh, wow. Nice. Double team there by Stardom or by QQ. Absolutely. And you see B there and Utami. Tommy, no nonsense either. That's what makes this uh, faction so dangerous. They are, they are rough and tough. And now Utami, I feel like Utami coming. especially. Like Utami is the definition of no nonsense. Like that's practically her character. Is, Absolutely. Don't fuck with me, or I will mess you up. B gets the tag there. Opponents, the last time we were here, partners this time, and then I mean, always friends. I mean, at least for the moment. It was definitely a respectful challenge for the world to start on title. No animosity. 
Yeah, it it's like B only wants to defend against other QQ members because her next title defense is against Utami. Maybe she just really wants to establish the pecking order within Queen's Quest. Like, you know, am I better than these other members? Or, you know, am I just in this position by circumstance or luck? And I now still B, think that's the case, but whatever. Slamming Tam's face. I highly doubt she'll drop it to Utami, but. I doubt it as well. I think she's going to hold it <clears throat> uh, through the five-star Grand Prix and beyond. We'll see if the five-star Grand Prix winner, though, will be able to take it from B, unless B, of course, wins the Grand Prix, in which case she gets to pick her challenger. Got to wonder who she'd want to face. Would she just volley back to Momo to keep it in Queen's Quest? Or would she make that gamble, go to an outside faction? Oh, no. Camel Clutch here by Utami on, on Tom. Damn here. Oh, and now it's going to be a troll team with the camel clutch. Now the alternating kicks here. Oh my God. This is not a fun time for Tam. And oh, again. Wow. Double shoot kicks. And Orisa and Mayu. Need, one of them needs to get a tag here. Yeah, Tam has Tam. literally worked this entire match so far. Yeah, she's really been worn down. What a forearm to the face. Aaron, I feel like all the rookies in stardom come from a judo background. Scarred scoop slam there by Utami. Oh, look at the bridge out, though, by Tam off the ropes. Nice drop, drop kick. kick. Tag time. Arisa. We got it. Takes up. What a kick. Momo. Thinking about a knee, maybe. And Arisa. Double knees. Got the knees. Double knees. Again, the knees. Wow. And smiling all oh, drop the while. Drop toe hold, Momo. Into a splash on into a Tommy. Tommy. Now scoop slam onto all three of them. We've got QQ stacked up, man. Stacking them up like cordwood. And Orisa now. She going to knee them again? Yep. Yes. Oh, my oh. God. She just destroyed B with those knees. She those knees were knees. devastating. <laughs> Kick out there by Utami. <laughs> yeah, those knees were ridiculous. What a shoot kick there. Yep. Oh, to the back. Here we go, alternating. Look how much fun Arisa's having, man. She loves speeding the shit out of people. Absolutely. It's my kind of woman. Uh, oh, shoot kick there to the chest. Oh, my God. oh, my God. Atlanta stacks them up. <laughs> I can't go. Utami staying in this. She's just like, oh, so you think you're a power wrestler, eh? <laughs> yeah. Let me educate you on what power really is. Come over here for a second. Oh, what a drop kick by Utami. Yeah, Utami has a chance here to, to low-key kind of send a message to B about their World of Stardom title match coming up on the horizon. Mayu has really not done much in this match at all. I wonder if she's going to be like the big hot tag that wins the match for the team. Yeah, don't don't prove Rossi right, Mayu. Come on. You got to come in there and do your shit. Mayu should pin B. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, I'm. God. You say I'm lazy, but I'm the icon of your company, bitch. Shot kick, I'm shoot a kick, shoot kick, shoot kick. Oh, man, Momo. Momo off the ropes. No! What a jumping yeah, It was like a Gavin Geary by Arisa. That was great. That was a full-blown Kawada-style Gavin Geary. And Mayu must have hurt us because now she's been legally tagged in. What a drop, drop kick. kick by Mayu. Oh, check. Checks the arm. Form of her own. Spin kick. Oh. And Northern Lights. What a, what a, what a bridge. Momo kicking out. Why are you trying to get the crowd invested here? Trying <laughs> to feed off their energy. Off the ropes. Oh, missed the kick. Oh, and they got tripped. That was a that was a Momo. dangerous miss. Oh, with a drop kick. Oh man, right at the chest, driving the air out of Mayu there. Momo cover. Kick out by Mayu. Momo and Mayu. Momo clearing the apron on the enemy side. Tommy and Momo working together on Mayu here. Double flapjack. Double flapjack. 
Shoot kick. Nice shoot kick by Mo uh, Momo. Oh, look at Mayu. I love the way Mayu kicks out. She's so good. Oh, and in comes B. Here we go. This is the matchup I wanted. Mayu needs to pin you, B. Oh, my God, the elbow. Another and another elbow. Off the ropes. Neck break. Neck breaker. Oh, the way it's looking. Wait a minute. No. Kick out. The way it's looking, B might be the one to pin Mayu. Oh, now, now B picking Mayu up. Forearm. Well, Mayu follows through. Fox the Larry. Roll up. Roll up. No. no. Oh, wow. The single leg drop kick. Beautifully almost executed. Like a, Mayu like a, uh, up. A Claymore kick almost, you know? Absolutely. What are you thinking, Dragon? Oh, Shades of Tatsumi, Enter. Fujinami. Oh, Tamu Damn. shot. Super kick. Mayu gonna go for a moonsault. She didn't even step on her. Come on, Mayu. Oh, she's not going for a moonsault. What are you going for, Mayu? Now is the Mayu is the moonsault just kind of like her own thing, or is it meant as like a tribute to EO? Double what stop. a double stop. Damn. I don't know, man. I mean, it might be her own, it might be a Thunder Rock thing, because she and EO used to team. Ah, uh, that's right. And then EO left her. <sighs> the form uh. Queen's Quest. I think that was in 2016. Oh, Tam now. Knees. Oh, my God. Is Tam legal? Yeah, I guess so. I looked away. From B. I must have missed the uh, the tag. How huge would it have been for Tam Nakano to just pin the world of Star? I would have loved that. That would have been awesome. Elbow here by B. Rip cord. Rip cord. Oh, she went for it. Oh, nice. Spin kick there to the gut. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Jesus that knee. Christ. <laughs> and Tam somehow conscious enough to kick out. Oh my god. Don't ask me fucking how. Jesus. Good lord. That was insanity. Oh. It's me. Tam now has a, that an amazing YB is the world champion. Blockbuster there by Tam. Has a huge opportunity here to pin the champion. Oh, Mayu up to Mayu. Drop kick. Drop kick. Oh, and now conducting traffic here for Orisa on her side. Getting along enough, what a kick. And now, is it going to be? Beautiful what bridging German. German. That might do it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and the breakup by Momo and company. I would have bet my, I would have gone out, bought a hat, gone to the casino and bet it that Tam was just about to pin B Priestley. My God. Utami with the save. <clears throat> And Tam now not wanting to give it up. All of her adorableness, all of her fierceness in this one dive. And it's the crossbow. Oh. Damn. Did she connect? No, no, she didn't connect. They moved out of the way. She hit her comrades and not the opposition. Oh, no. Oh, oh double kick there. This might be the beginning of the end here. Because now it's a week in Tam and, and B Priestley. Unless Utami, I don't think Utami was ever made legal. John, are you familiar with Mortal Kombat? Uh, yes, I am. I love the series. Does B have a tire on that resembles Mil Melina? Uh, let me see. You know what? A little bit, yeah. Two. No! Yes! Oh, Tom Tam. Out. yes! Tam does not know the meaning of the word die. Oh, but B, I think she's about to teach it to her. Well, if she, uh, if she goes for Queen's Landing, yeah. Come on, Tam. Do you have a counter left? Oh, this is going to be it. Roll through, roll through. Oh, that's it. Damn. Damn. Tam, two, damn. three. Tam, Tam kicking out immediately after, but it's too late. Man, what a match. And you, you probably will be like a post-match promo after this. Yeah. Because there is plenty of time for one. Yeah, QQ is going to close the show. This might even be where we find out that utami is b's next challenger right i feel like she kind of established that the last set of shows that we watched right the last set of matches, have matches. forgotten i think she did if i'm not mistaken I wonder if there's gonna be any follow-up on that though but yeah queen's quest marking their territory and maintaining it
Good Lord. B has the mic. Here we go. Q cool, awesome, right? B speaking Japanese. Kanazawa. <laughs> <laughs> she had to remember how to say thank you very much for today. Hand the mic to Momo, yeah. Thank you for, hey, thank you for the good Japanese. Aww. Oh my god. You're so precious. I was going to say, I don't love QQ in the ring, but I do like their personalities for the most part. Yeah. Oh, with all the wrestlers in the ring. Okay. They don't usually do this. Is that okay? Strong response from the crowd. All units, please come to the ring so we can brag about how we're the best. How long is this going to take now? Probably a bit. Come on, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost just like, hurry the fuck up here. Yeah. I can't say I have a problem with her wanting them to rush. There's Kagetsu. I see Mayu. Azuki. Natsu. Jamie. Arisa. Andras. Believe now, shine tomorrow. You decide in what you believe. You decide in what you believe. Really? That's it? You brought everyone out just to do the Queen's Quest outro? I guess each faction is doing their own taunt. I love that Utami just didn't want to talk. She's like, no, you give that mic to Momo right now. Yeah, no, she's not a talker. I am a serious competitor, thank you. I ain't doing this shit. Yeah, yeah, Aaron. They did it at the um, the Stars Produced event where they did the costume change battle royal as well. But I think like those two and then like the draft, I want to say, are like the only instances this year where they did that. And that's it. So I guess we can move on to our next event here. Okay. All right. Now, because we're switching over to events, um, I'll give you guys a, like a few more moments here. And let's see what we got here for the eighth three of them. We're going to start with Tam Nakano versus Starlight Kid. Absolutely, yeah. I'm excited for this match. And then, yeah, we got two tag matches. Kind of close the day out. Honestly, I'm almost looking as much forward to the pre-match <laughs> promo for this match as I am the match itself. Absolutely. If you've never seen a Starlight Kid pre-match promo, she's like a fucking prodigy on the mic. It's kind of amazing. All right, I'm at 28 seconds. We are on the 8-3 show, which is actually the most recent show. So you guys can uh, just kind of check it out that way. We are in the second match. It is Starlight Kid versus Tame, Tam Nakano. And uh, John, if you're ready, I'm ready. All right, brother, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. And Starlight A is a singles match with Tom Chan. A match between Stars members. Yep. Okay, so I'll have wrestled all the Japanese Stars members one on one. That's really cool. Nice. Yep. They they do team up sometimes. I've seen it. Star Chan or Star Tom. Sometimes with the ISB title, I'd like to win today. Carry momentum into Korokan. Yeah, that's really cool. If she wins, dude, I'm going to flip. 
寒い Star showdown. Soon is riding a wave right now. Star's confrontation. We're looking forward to it too, Tommy. I'll be getting fired up. Watch you guys enjoy a sparkling stars match. Well, isn't that just precious? Aaron informing us that Starlight Kid was the reason I signed up for stardom. Huh. Very interesting. That's the cool thing, Aaron. Now that we're covering stardom in depth, I feel like we'll learn more and more about you as time goes on now that you're back in the fold. Yeah. But Starlight Kid and Tam, this should be an interesting match again. Anytime stars, uh, stardom does a singles match i've always uh taken interest because i know that's my chance to really study people that either i already like and that love can deepen i'm on the fence or maybe i potentially misjudged so yeah i'm curious what this match will reveal to me today i'm curious if tamu's gonna even be able to keep up with starlight kid yeah perspective literally like starlight kid is is like killing it in the high speed division And now, I really want to that. see more of Azumi. Like she's, she's like one of those weird characters where, you know, she, she's like this exceptional talent. Like I mentioned it earlier, she's an amazing exceptional talent, and they just don't push her really because of her age. Right. Like I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say. That Azumi is the most prodigious talent in stardom. Yeah, man. It certainly sounds like it. And there is Tam. And Tam getting fired up. She doesn't get very many singles entrances anymore. So this is interesting. See, Mayu and Arisa held the ropes open for her. That was adorable. I really do hope that Tam and Arisa one day become friends. That'd be very nice. Yeah. Arisa wants to be friends with her, but Tam is just so, like, hostile towards her. And even now, like, she's not as openly hostile, but it's still just, like, she just kind of tolerates Arisa now. There's like, the stretching I was telling you about, by the way. Look at how freaking yeah. she is. It's crazy. Yeah, man. She'll grab the bottom rope doing this, too, sometimes. This is a huge matchup for Starlight Kid, as she herself explained. You know, she, she wants that momentum going into the high-speed title match against Death yeah. Yamasan. And Riho. And Riho, that's right. Riho looking to make a splash in stardom. Of course, you and I got our exposure to Riho through AEW, so I will thank them for that much, at least. I also wanted to ask in chat, isn't the ring announcer right now, didn't she used to wrestle? And if so, what was her name? Tam getting a lot of streamers today. Mm-hmm. And now Starlight Kid getting checked over. And now checking over Tam Nakano. Starlight Kid extending the hand. Will Tam shake it? Oh, they take both hands. Yay! Bell. There's the bell. And this again. Huge matchup for Starlight Kid. But you also have to imagine it's an important match for Tam. Tam is a very talented performer. And I'm sure she'd love some singles gold around her waist. If she beats the number one contender, you got to imagine that makes her jump the line if she was interested in the high-speed championship. And Tam there. One half of a Greco-Roman knuckle lock here. Can we get the other half? Yeah, and dude, we do. do you remember from that roster video that we watched? But Tam actually like comes from a background of death matches. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. Shit. 
Yeah, she's the one that's like a fucking renaissance woman because she did death matches and she's like a registered pyrotechnic. And like, yeah, she's 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 an, an actual idol or former idol. I don't know if it's current or former. And yeah, she's a great wrestler, too. Oh. You know, Kyrie. Oh, on. Kyrie Turn used around. to want to be an actress before she found pro wrestling. So you never know what path will take you here. Who? Kyrie. Oh, she, wow. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. She had the yachting. She got a degree in Japanese literature. Yep. And she also wanted to be an actress. But once she uh, found wrestling, she fell in love. So you never know, again, what path is going to take you to a wrestling ring. And yeah. Tam I was actually examining goal. previous five-star uh, Grand Prix earlier today. Kyrie's story in the five-star Grand Prix is pretty fucking beautiful. Like she is. Because in her first five-star, it, it started like a month after her debut. And she, she didn't win a single match. Right. She went 0 0 and 1. She had zero wins. Or actually, she went 0 4 and 1, I should say. She had zero wins, four losses, and a double count out. So she got one point that year. Right. And then the second year, she lost her first three matches. So she lost eight consecutive five star Grand Prix matches before getting her first win. And then she won two in a row. Boom, boom. Nice. Second year with four points. And then her third year. She had two wins and a draw against EO, who would go on to win the tournament. So she was definitely getting better. She had five points that year. And it was cool that, like, she went to a draw with the eventual winner. And then in right. her year, she won the damn thing. Like, what a progression from one point to winning in four years. I just love that. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. And the Starlight Kid there with the kicks. Look Comes at this. Over. What oh, a Oh, she's cranking on Tema's knee. Ellen wants to pick Tam apart. We know Tam likes to employ some kicks. We know how limber she is. Figure four, figure four, maybe. She's working on getting it in. She's got it. Starlight kid here. Full proper figure that four. Pressure. Not a figure P. Nice. And Tom is almost at the rope. She's there. She got that. My goodness. Apparently, Tam and Arisa were eating pancakes together on the Stardom YouTube channel. Yes, yes, I saw that video. The unfortunate thing is that it's not subtitled, so. Damn. You don't actually know what they're saying. Would have loved to have been a fluent Japanese fly on the wall there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice front chancery there by Tam, reversing into the side headlock. It's kind of interesting because it's up on Stardom World too, but it doesn't even have subtitles there. Damn. Yeah. Stardom World, why you do this? <laughs> I love Takeover. Have you checked out the Pajama Party series yet? No, but I will. Dude, they all speak in English. It's almost purely in English. Oh my god, that's so amazing. And Kyrie's English was so bad, it was adorable. Oh, and the drop kick by Starlight. There we go. Picking nice up a little bit. Star like kid. Oh! oh, the bridge He's escape. Play. Blockbuster. Yes, Tom. Nicely done. Kick. And now, Tam here. Oh, what a hard snap, Mare. Oh, oh for the kick. <laughs> that oh. shoot kick. My God. Fucking her up. Lateral press two. Starlight kicks out. Okay. Apparently the ring announcer's name is Yuri or Yuri. I think Yuri probably. Kozakai. Elbow there. And she's a voice actress and J-pop singer. That's adorable. Another elbow there. So she's an idol too, basically. Oh, wow. She's sitting on her for the pin. <laughs> I think that's what makes Tam so fierce. If, if anybody knows anything, now I only ever watched a video that was like an in-depth analysis of K-pop. So I can imagine that there are obviously some uh, dissimilarities. And -pop, yeah. Yeah. But the culture is very demanding and taxing. And I can't imagine that's much different from J-pop. No, yeah. Like, that's definitely something that those two have in common. I mean, the sacrifices you have to make. 
and the hours and, and the years, really. Forget hours, years that you have to put in. Oh, my probably God. So One and Dude, almost like she an has got her arm here. trapped. She has got both of her legs trapped, and she's got a cross face in. Oh, my God. Damn, Tim is brutal. <laughs> my point being that with oh, Tam's look at this. Starlight got oh, to the ropes. Starlight got to the end of the ropes. My point being though that with Tam's prior experience, you know, again being an idol and then wearing a pyrotechnic like that must have built a character in her and a resolve in her that made her perfect for stardom. Yeah. That was another kick there to Starlight Kid. Aaron, do you really think Tam is a better striker than Arisa? I feel like that's like the the biggest thing that they have in common, but I also feel like Arisa is like pretty clearly better as far as like her strikes just having more impact like when Arisa hits a knee on you it looks like it fucks you up right starlight there with a forearm nice damn oh my god Ted is just destroying starlight with these forearms good god scoop slam Set her up. She's stepping on her arm. Good God. Oh my God. Tim is absolutely bullying this poor girl. <laughs> oh, absolutely. She's like, so are you today's victim? Uh, oh, look at Starlight though. Look at Starlight. Oh, Starlight fighting back. Yeah, catching her off guard. Nice. Oh, and now grabbing her by the hair. What? Oh, Starlight, now starting to play Tam. DT her! Oh! oh. <laughs> Holy shit, Starlight's really showing something here. You know what? Good for you, Starlight kid. Don't take that bullying lying down. I love it. Oh, now it's it already nut. up, though. Damn, man. She recovers quick. She is really resilient. Oh! What a kick to the head. Yeah, that was like a roundhouse kick, man. Right to the head. <clears throat> and Tam now going to go right back on the attack here. Okay, so Aaron agrees that Arisa is above Tam, but Tam is a clear number two. Like she's clear. What a knee there. After Arisa. I can understand you not thinking of Arisa, though, because she's only been around for a few months. So forgetting her is probably easier for you. Whereas for me, she's been around for my entire stardom experience. So I, it's easier for me to remember that she's there. And now, Starlight Kid. We're going to stay on the offensive after that drop kick. 14. And everyone's back in the ring. Okay, we're good. All right, yeah, we beat the count there. And Tam, Starlight Kid. Big, important matchup for both women. Starlight Kid as the contender for the high-speed title, winning that momentum. Oh. Tam for winning momentum for of her own. Oh. Kick to the gut there. My God. Tam now off the ropes. Drop kick. Another nice drop kick there by Starlight Kid. Uh, cravat there. Oh, nope. Oh, nice. Oh, what an enzigiri. God damn. Dude, Starlight Kid is like a mini Mayu with how she sells shit. Yeah, really. Amazing. Oh, Tamu. Oh, no, she missed. Lands on her feet, though, rolls through. Starlight. What a lariat. Nicely done. Tam favoring the back of her head and neck. Oh, in comes the tiger faint kick. And she knows. Oh, ducked. Oh, she hit it under the middle rope. That was awesome, too. Moon salt time. Got it. She connected. Two. No, okay. I am becoming more and more of a fan of Starlight now. Like, she's really doing some stuff in this match that's getting my attention. That, uh, that revolving kind of tiger faint kick, that was really nice. Oh, cross legged. No. Tam blocking. Tam blocking. Forearms. Gonna shoot her into the ropes. She's gonna get reversed. Oh! Cut her by Tam! Damn! Tom here. Oh, and cartwheel knee cartwheel strike! Knees. Drop two. Oh, and Starlight kicks out. Look how proud Tam is of Starlight for kicking out of that. I love this dynamic. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. I'm just going to pick her up here. Going up top. She's going to get it. Whatever she wants. It's probably going to... Um, and... Oh, my God. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 
that's the ad. Sorry, Starlight. I know you wanted the momentum. It ain't happening for you. <laughs> oh! Wait, 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 wait what? Out of the way. Oh, Jack and I, God, this come, is gonna be it. Counter. Counter. No! Wow! Oh, there's the reverse. There it is. That's the beginning of the end. I don't think that'll be it, but it's definitely the beginning of the end. We cover though. She kicked Check out. out. That running knee strike that you saw her attempt is is usually the end. Like I've seen people kick out of it, so it's not like it's a definitive, like no one ever kicks out of this kind of thing, but it's usually the end. Oh, it's really like it, trying to counter the German. We've seen this. We saw this against B Priestley. Oh, she went for the reverse roundhouse again. Cartwheel into the arm bar. Yes. What a counter. But oh, Starlight Kid, though, having great presence of mind to clasp the hands oh together. Oh my God. I love this match. That's what I'm saying, man. I love when Stardom does singles matches because you get to really see people featured like this. Oh, and that's the it. Bar. She's got that locked in deep. I mean, Starlight can get to the rope, but I don't know. She's squirming. She's going to get there. She's so close. You're so close, Starlight. She's got there. And she got there. She got there. That was awesome. Wow. How important is momentum to Starlight Kid? She wants to show Dad the Amazon that she this is. She's going to go to a time limit do. draw, dude. Oh, wait, it's Tam now going to the top rope. I'm pretty sure most starter matches have a 15 minute time limit with main events maybe having like 30. Oh, oh wait, wait. Drag. What an avalanche arm drag. Man, I hope Rio and, and Dad the Amazon are watching this. I know, right? Good God. What's her like? Kid oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost, it almost looked like she was going to go for like a crazy octopus combo there. I was striking her in the midsection oh. there. Pegging her up by the hair here. Slice bread. Slice oh, bread. She got it. She Slice got bread it. Number two. Pin two. Oh, and Tom kicks out. Man, this match. You weren't. Oh, Starlight Kid. And Stardom does singles matches. They do it right. This has been great. Starlight Kid going for it all. Oh, she got like, it. Yeah. Oh, but only a two. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was oh, so close. That's so close. Yeah, she's, she came so close to beating her. She's going to try again here for that. Oh, oh that was legitimately going to be her finisher. Oh, my God. Walked right into it. Again. So Starlight is out. Yeah. So is Tom. Oh my goodness. Tom's falling to the so ground. Good. Referee now checking. I did not expect this effort out of Starlight Kid. I wasn't expecting this match to be this crazy. Starlight with the forearm. Tom with the forearm. Tom's forearms are so much more effective, I feel like, than Starlight's. Like she just puts all of her weight behind that shit. Look at Tam looks like some fun. Tom's face though. She's loving this. Oh wait. Cross legged try for this earlier. Wow. She got it. That might do it. Nope. No. Oh, she's going for it again. Pop up. No. Duck. So, wow. What, what a suplex. Man. Let's go for that German. Oh, my she got God. It. That's going to be it. No. Star oh, what? Again. I can't, Tom can't believe it. You got to do the running knee, girl. Oh, she's going to go for, go for a tiger. Oh, no. Starlight, victory roll. Two. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Oklahoma roll. Oh, two. No. No fucking way. Oh, okay. A super kick. Super. Oh, but it's a draw. Dance. There's the Time limit draw. Time limit draw. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That was awesome. That match was dope as hell. And the ref showing, showing Tom the clock. And I was going to show Starlight Kid. Wow. It's what and neither one match. of them hit their finishers in that match either. Holy shit, that was so good. I've never seen a draw. Well, uh, let, let me correct myself. It's been a while since I've seen a draw that exhilarating.
God damn. Wow. The last time I think I saw a draw that exhilarating must have been Okada versus Suzuki in that one G one where they went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was I think twenty seventeen. Yeah, it sounds about right. It might have been sixteen. I don't remember for sure. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. I think Tom was even shocked by Starlight Kid a little bit. Yeah. Woman holding out on us. Damn. That was such a good match. You know what, though? That's how you make someone look like a legitimate threat because she's totally believable as potential high-speed champion now yeah, and protecting dude. Nakano at the same time. But it's it's a triple threat, too, so she doesn't even, like, she doesn't even have to be involved in the final pinfall. No, she does not. Oh! <laughs> That was adorable. Oh my god. I loved everything about that. That was a lot of fun. Alright, guys. Well, it's time for uh our next matchup here. TCS versus Odotai again. Only this time it's uh, it's a little different. We've got Bobby Tyler and Zoe Lucas, aka Zubby, teaming up with Ruaka to take on the team of Hazuki. Nuts Kotora and Jamie Hader. So Tora and Hader, uh, there's some continuity there from the first show. But uh, that's about the only continuity that we're getting here because all kinds of uh, change-ups here from the first show that we watched. Yes, yes. I'm going to be very curious how all this goes. But I am at 28 seconds. We'll give our audience just a second here. Yep, I just want to make sure that everyone is able to get to the, again, we're on the 8-3 show. Just go to the next match, the third match on the show. It's TCS versus Odo Tai. John, you ready? Let's do it, man. Three, two, one, go. It's hot again today, but we'll do our best. Oh, Odo Tai. Oh, my God. They're so exhausted. I don't blame them. Why is Zoe crying? Zoe Lucas is crying. Oh, it's her last match! Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do our best. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting to have my heart broken. Jesus! You'll put it together again. <laughs> that was tragic. I mean, it was adorable and hilarious, but it was also tragic. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, man. This show has been really fun. That match, man. Fucking A. I was not expecting that to go to a time limit draw. I thought, like, Starlight would be, like, a, a scrappy underdog coming from the bottom, really showing her stuff, and... Tom would win in like 11 or 12 minutes, but no, man, that went all the way. That was awesome. No, they gave Starlight Kid the fucking rub. I know. Apparently, these three call themselves the Triumvirate. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, these are the three that will be challenging the team of Kagetsu, Andras, and Natsu for the Artist of Stardom titles at the Kraken show next week. Yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be the Oda Tai Civil War. Those three those three versus these three. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be explosive. Explode. I'm uh, I'm quite excited for this match though. We get more faction warfare here at stardom. Man, Jamie loves dancing, doesn't she? She's all about it. She's footloose. She's living yeah. her best life. I love it. It's awesome. Absolutely. You'll love to see it. There's Bobby. And Ruaka and Zoe in the back. Zoe, who seems far more put together than she was in the pre-match promo. Yeah. She uh, composed herself. Crazies. <laughs> God, I could not deal with somebody crying and wrestling at the same time. Uh... So I was going to ask you, what did you think of Bobby's pre-match promos? She kind of, you kind of get the vibe that I was telling you about on Facebook. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I dig it. I'm here for it. 
Oh, okay, Aaron. Thank you for letting us know. And, yeah, now we're going to do this matchup here. Oedo Tai versus Tokyo Cyber Squad. Let's remember, on the last show we did, this was our opening tag match. We had Jamie Hayter and, and Natsuko against Zoe Lucas and Konami, I want to say. Yep. And, yeah, Jamie and Natsuko won that. So we'll see if Tokyo Cyber Squad can get the win back. Jamie Hayter. What is that title? I'm wondering. Jimmy Hater cage match titles. Uh, probably the Eve International Championship because I think she won that off of Utami, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, she won that off of Utami, so that's definitely what it is. Hazu King! Oh my god, the best one. <laughs> You're amazing, Azuki. We're so proud of you. Future Wonder of Stardom champion and World of Stardom champion, thanks. Hell yeah. I certainly hope so. Just go and do it. Raka. She got two streamers, John. She got two. How old is she again? 14. Yeah, I don't know. The kids' table is that way. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> you're doing here. I think we know who's eating the pin in this match, at least. <laughs> yeah. There's Zoe Lucas. She got some streamers. Maybe like seven or eight. And now there's the cleanup crew taking the streamers out. I wonder what they do with the streamers that, like, get thrown. They Shove them under the ring. Them? Oh, yeah, there you go. Bobby Tyler. How many streamers? I'm flipping them off. She got like six. So on the TCS crew, Zoe got the most streamers. Ruika got a grand total of two. Well, this is a weak assemblage. <laughs> God, your streamer power is puny. <laughs> Hazuki and Aaron did a double squeeze. That is such an impressive power level. All right, How does that going work? I don't know. I'm going to have How to have Aaron teach me. twice at once? When you love, you find a way. Is it Referee now. Ee, ee, like two or, or do you channel some kind of demonic hell power that allows you to squeak twice within the same time span? Shh, we don't talk about that. I tried to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Referee trying to get order here so we can start this matchup. <laughs> Zoe just was not cooperating. Yeah, Zoe. Or really, she was cooperating, but it was malicious compliance. You know what, though? She probably didn't want to cooperate because she knows when the bell rings, like, that begins running on the clock for her last match, and she doesn't want the fun to end. I know, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to not quite be the same without her. So is she, like, done with wrestling or just done no, with No, no, I'm pretty sure it's just the end of her current stardom tour. Ew. We'll miss you, Zoe. And Natsuko, though. Not feeling as Side sympathetic. You saw that wrestle like their side head like there by Zoe Lucas. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm really not clear on is exactly how Gaijin tours of stardom work. Like as far as like how long they stay, how quickly they can come back after their tour is over, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't really know how Right, right. <clears throat> Oh, nice, nice. That was almost like a Northern Lights suplex. And Natsuko kicks out. And now, what a kick there. Another kick there. She's counting in Japanese. Go! Rook! Seat! Hatch! Go! Oh! Off the ropes! And the, oh, the last one got caught. This is what I learned on the tour. Oh. Natsuko not letting go of that leg. I learned how to count to ten in Japanese and I was like six. Nice. Because I was in a karate class. <laughs> nice. I didn't quote in Japanese. Scoop slam there. 
Let's go with the tag there, and comes Jamie. I know Utami is the big rookie, but Jamie might as well be the big guy, Jen. Absolutely. She's Kicks the, the biggest woman in stardom after Viper. Yeah. Nice. Nice suplex there. Zoe Lucas getting bullied again, having flashbacks. Another. <laughs> Did you see Zoe's face there? She just had this look of desperation. Like, God, please let me out of this. Curse you, Jamie. Always being one step ahead of me. Why yes, can't really you is. leave me alone? Well, she even pinned her in the last tag match. Jamie really is a step or two ahead of her. And yeah. Ozuki has her in a choke in the corner, and the ref was doing nothing. God, refs are so... Ah, Ozuki takes out both other members of TCS. Oh, man. Ozuki with a boot to the chest there of Zoe. Oh, and now the hair pull throw. Oh, she set her up for a kick. She's literally standing on her neck. And Hazuki won in the crowd support. You have all of our support, Hazuki. Face plant, face wash, face Yeah, wash. clean that and face. And the running boot. Yes. And in the smug words of Otunga, what? I think it's an improvement. Uh. Scoop, slam, okay. Is she going to tag in Natsuko? No, she's tagging in Jamie. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like they went out of order there. Natsuko was next in line. Yeah, but, like, maybe she was impressed with Jamie's bullying. I was. That's true. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Don't leave me alone. Stop smothering me. Never. Uh, apparently, Zoe's got to go back to the UK and defend her Rev Pro Women's title that she hasn't defended in months. Honestly, though, let's be real. If Zoe wanted to, she could just go back to Rev Pro, drop that title, and then make a living doing only stardom. Apparently, the merch money that these women make is insane. Oh, no, no. Oh, we were just Dude, she about did the Wet Willy. Willy. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. She actually did it. That's amazing. <laughs> God, I guess stardom I mean, is so... Stardom you've got to be so impressed by her bullying now, right? I mean, stardom's so committed to storylines, they'll pull storylines straight out of our fucking podcast. <laughs> God damn it, stardom. <laughs> Actually did a wet willy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh nice little hair grab face buster by, by Zoe. Zoe needs to make a tag, but to whom? Forearm there. It's like you've got super stud Hadzuki and super gaijin in, in Jamie. And like I like Zoe and Bobby, but they don't really have a ton of prestige or credibility. There's the spin kick, and now here comes the big boot wow i mean that's the thing if zoe's gonna have a plus matchup against anyone on this op opposing team it is natsuko oh and there's the and tag, tag. ruaka getting in there to go after jamie and hazuki oh, look at those oh, weak wow. ass bobby shot. with a super kick nice bobby now with a cutter nice look at bobby button. oh they got another bobby super kick. got together. it in Nope. Check out there. Did I end up ahead of you somehow? Maybe. Bobby off the ropes. Uppercut, Uppercut by, Natsuko. by Natsuko. Off the ropes again. Yeah. Shoulder, Shoulder block. block by Natsuko. Off the ropes again and leg drops. That was like a double leg drop. She hit her both of them, but only a two count. Check out there. Natsuko with the tag to Jamie. Here comes Jamie. Here we go. Jamie and Bobby. Two most powerful guys in on their respective teams. Oh my God, Jamie just owns her face, though. Christ. Yeah. Jamie needs to go after B, man. Yeah, absolutely, she does. Or Arista. That would be amazing. That match would be so good. Yeah, for Jamie sure. Against bigger women. You're and now over the knee. Oh my god, cover here to, on it's Bobby. It's like the Irish curse backbreaker. And now... See what it is now that I think about it. Just stylizes differently. Oh, Hazuki thinking it's springboard dropkick. And... and she got oh it. my god. Page out of EO's playbook. Hazuki, oh. why are you so Dude. perfect? <laughs> oh, cross face! Speaking of Hazuki being perfect, John. 
I know, right? Tap. Rooka. God damn it. <laughs> you mean the child broke up? I said go back to the fucking kids table. Thank you, Natsuko. <laughs> Natsuko taking care of business. Uh, God. Bobby, do you really want to do a forum exchange with Hazuki? Puts down the coloring book for two seconds and decides to get involved. And now, <laughs> Hazuki here. <laughs> And oh, this is the, the back elbow, elbow misses. No. Uppercut no. by Bobby. Now Bobby charging into the corner. What you thinking? Uppercut forearm, back elbow. Might have been also. You'll fail. No. You'll fail. Oh, no. Hazuki misses. Oh, oh. it's a Geary by Bobby. Bobby now off the ropes. Come on, Hazuki. Yes. Oh, wow. Pump kick. Excellent job, Hazuki. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Aaron. I actually didn't remember about Ruaka being in John. Apparently, Jamie is in against Hazuki. This is like the biggest possible mismatch in favor of Odotai. Two. Check and Ruaka still got a two count. That's impressive right there. God. Now, Ruka, no. What the hell are you thinking? Yeah. He was thinking right. about a fisherman something. Oh, what a flatliner by Ruhika. What? Are you fucking kidding me? One, two, <laughs> two count. Somebody discipline this child right now, please. What the She's fuck doing is going well, on? man. Give her some credit. Yeah, no. Forearms. Hazuki crush her Hazuki dreams. The there forearm, you go. Or the back elbow, yeah. It's called asserting. What oh, the, the hell? cross body from Ruhika. Pin. Two. And Hazuki, of course, kicks out. Damn right she does. What the fuck shit is going on? <laughs> Hazuki, counter it. Knee her in the face. Kick her in the face. Something. Oh, what the hammer? Sledge. Yeah. Natsuko. Natsuko taking care of business. Yeah, triple team the child. Oh, you're going to get to see, I think, atomic bombs away. Oh, no. Just a scoop slam. A sit-out scoop slam is going to do it? No. Look. Wow, Zoe. Glad good you save, got to Zoe. get your... Good save. Glad to see you got your face out of the tissue from crying long enough to break up the pen. And damn it. Yes. Off the ropes. Oh, oh come super on. Kick by Bobby. This is really unfair to me right now. I want everyone to know this. <laughs> to you. Yeah, to me. This is really unfair <laughs> to me. I want to see atomic bombs away. Like, I want to fucking see it. I really think uh, you're going to see it this match. Unless Jamie just gets the winning pinfall again. No, no, no. Oh, no, what the fuck? Oh, the double gourd buster by Zabi. Okay, what the? Oh, from no. Raka. This is gross. One, this two, is gross. and Hazuki kicks out. Oh, my God. What is Come happening? On, you knew she was going to kick out. Relax. It's it's a bit anxiety-inducing, sir. Oh, no. She's going for the stupid... Fish she she got it. suplex into oh, a bridge, no, too. No, no. Oh. And it has to be broken up. Only because Hazuki has been triple teamed for so long now and double teamed and all sorts of teamed. Okay? Just counter it. Count she yes. It. Leg yes. Threat. Oh, Ruka though. Fuck? Oh, look at Ruka with the Oklahoma roll. One, two. Oh, oh. oh, that was so close. What the fuck is going on? Uh, like you said, Hazuki's been getting double and triple teamed. Oh, Jamie, the MVP though, with the forearm to the back and now Natsuko with the fireman's carry. Steamroller. Here we go, Steam baby. Roller. Atomic Steam bombs away. Night, night. Ruika, do it. Yeah, that's it, That baby. was just a send time, but she's still going to win with it. Yeah, there you go. That oh, was atomic me. bombs away. She just didn't need it. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm YouTubing it. I'll give you guys my live reaction <laughs> if I can find it. I'm not going to keep waiting for this shit. Atomic. Bombs away, cause hmm, Tommy bombs away. Okay, well I'm seeing bombs away. I don't know if this is different from atomic bombs away. If it's just yeah. a seated senton off the top rope, that's probably what you're what it is. That's pretty cool. Though. I like that she does like a frog splash style, like coming off. And then it ends with the senton. That's cool as hell. Yeah, Hazuki, you're so talented. Way to beat the shit out of a child. <laughs> Not too long ago, she was that child getting the shit beat out of her. <laughs> well, I'm glad she grew out of that. God. 
like, it's not really that hard, people. Just age a little bit, but then stop the aging process at some point so you don't become old. Like, get yeah. the fucking shit together. I mean, the only thing worse than being a child is being old and in the way. Right? Yes. All right. We got Oedo Tai versus uh, Queen's Quest here. And this is our main event, and you're going to get to see a little more of Azumi. I really wanted to make sure that we got some Azumi in here because I just feel like they don't feature her enough, man. Like, I get that she's young, but she's so fucking good. Yeah. All right, we'll give everybody a moment to do this. <laughs> Aaron, and Hazuki wins! Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to bond over uh, my deepening love for Hazuki with Aaron. Cause like, I don't know. I'll ask you, Aaron. I'll wait for your reply in the chat while we do this. How do you feel about Johnny scumbag being a Hazuki fan and defending her at all costs? I mean, you just saw me openly advocate for the abuse of a child. So I feel like we're doing great. Patting a oh, thousand absolutely. over here. For sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm at 28 seconds. Again, want to give our audience fish time to get there as well, but I'm, I'm stoked to do this, man. Yeah, like John said, we've got Ototai versus QQ here. Uh, it's going to be uh, Andras, Kagetsu, and Natsu, who are actually, this is the artist of stardom champions right here. So if, if the other team gets a winning pinfall on them, that could definitely give them a potential challenge. Uh, and the other team being specifically, I, I believe it's Momo, B, and Azumi. So let's, uh, let's see. Uh, three. And, and like John said, we are at 28 seconds. This is the 8-3 show, August 3rd. Just wanted to go over that one more time before we get into this. So three, two, one, go! Natsu brushing her hair. Let's do our best, our half ass best. It? Oh, Andras, just a minute. Just a minute. What? Recently, I've grown to like someone. Like someone, what? <laughs> I can't tell you I have to show it in the ring. What? <laughs> Andres' entire gimmick being that she screams her promos is the funniest thing. So we had all the time. Is that a saying saying how she's like a mom. Mom. Like she'll watch over me, but I'm scared because the one time are bad. I want to be careful and avoid any trouble. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness! Oda are so mean. That's so mean. I approve. <laughs> of course. Uh, Have you ever just had a guttural laugh at someone else's failures? It's pretty amazing. I mean, do you remember the Nathan moment? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a pleasant memory to relive. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad that I brought it up. That was the first thing that immediately came to my mind. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I'm sure, dude, when Natalia, well, we'll have to get to that on Friday, talking about SummerSlam matches, but if she yeah. loses, uh, I'm sure we'll have a guttural laugh at Natalia's expense. Yeah, and this is our last match, but I'm glad that I, I made sure to list our NXT preview as being 9 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock, because it's just starting and we're just before 8 o'clock, so that's, that's a good, good call on both of our parts. Your face is so good at this. Oh my god, stop it. You love it. <laughs> Shut up! You don't know me! <laughs> oh, but I do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I wanted to say, when we're done with this match, what I really want to do is, I want to watch the just the pre-match promos for the main event, and then post-match, I want to watch like the closing of the show for the Utami Leo thing. Sure, man, because that'll still get us out of here like a little, either a little before or a little after 8.30. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we'll be able to kind of just get ourselves ready. We'll for probably be out of here. Quickly. I mean, we'll probably be able to start the outro around like 20 after 8. So, yeah, get time to take care of whatever we need to between then and preview predictions. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Somebody get me to simmer down. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kagetsu. Shoulders all taped up. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it 
is. Who hurt you, Kagetsu, so I can hurt their face? Gotta love uh, it. It's not as good as this, the dance, but it, it'll do. Yeah. Chiefin just loves B. Priestley, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you that you, you're... Your favorite performer is the world champion. I just don't see it. Like, she's good, but she's definitely not on the level of a lot of the other women in this company, I feel like. Hey, Chief, and it's cool to see you, though, have like intense love for somebody other than Kevin Owens, because I know we share that. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll share the B. Priestley love. But it's just cool to, to get inside your mind, learn more about your tastes. And here come the queens. Yeah. Yeah, the first, like, non-underling, basically, that EO recruited in Queen's Quest was Viper. Like, imagine she has, like, this, this stable of basically students under her wing, and then she's just like, you know what? I'd like to start actually winning, and she just brings the biggest fucking monster in the company. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's also me! Oh my god! And there's Momo! I can't wait for Auto Tide to corrupt her. <laughs> and. They already got Hazuki. What else do you want, man? They want the world. Hazuki, Momo, and Azumi were the original three members of QQ with EO. Well, you know, Ashton, did you ever think that maybe it's not enough? I don't know. I don't ever see. think that it's not enough, no. Well, maybe you should. Maybe, maybe your analysis is just missing that crucial aspect. Damn, you're making me rethink everything. Oh my god, that's so rare. <laughs> I have introductions here. <laughs> Why is Natsu the only one in the ring for Oedo Tai? Uh, look, she's the champion, all right? She could, she could be... They're her. all she champions! This is the championship team! But she is the proudest of it because it's her first one. Let her sit in there and look at her challengers. I mean, even though this is a non-title match, to your very uh, correct point, if they were to lose here, that would put him in some jeopardy. Look how proud she is of that title. She licked it. Uh, I know. <laughs> so great for her. You are ridiculous. Again, you love it. I'm and Andros Miyagi. Miyagi! Who is like a mom, which scares Azumi immensely. Yeah. And Momo wants to protect her. I really her do well. think that they're kind of starting to build some some friction between the two Oto Tai kind of groups that we're going to see go against each other on the eight ten show. Because Kagetsu really, really likes Azumi and wants her to be on the team, and thinks that Azumi should be the youngest ever high speed champion and all that stuff. Like she has so high of an opinion of Azumi and she's made it known. And now Andras of all people is starting to talk about how she feels like a mom to us. Like she didn't say who to who to, but obviously it's about Azumi. And like, I mean, I don't know if Natsu's even going to get involved, but I just find it weird that like this group seems to be really pro Azumi. And then obviously the Hazuki group is very anti Azumi, but it's just such an interesting dynamic going on there. There's Momo. Uh, yeah, and I, I gotta say, you know, Momo coming out and being like, I want to protect Azumi. I mean, personally, I can't wait to watch Momo fail. It's wow. going to be wonderful to see her lose everything she cares about. Oh so, God. just my two cents. Wow. And be very sleep. That's probably the scummiest thing I've said all day. I, John out here with ooh. the fucking claws out. Damn. I think, yeah, ooh, ooh, I feel good now. And here we go. <laughs> I mean, Azumi, wouldn't you like to win? Oedo Tai is doing so well right now. I mean, sure, you're under the tutelage of the world stardom champion, I, I guess. If I'm that's what you want. Hair. Look, she's just... Oh, wow. <laughs> she does not like to be touched. Boundaries. Checking Kagetsu. Andros even taking an exception to Kagetsu being checked. These refs are not thorough at all. Okay, he's doing his best. Oh, wow. Sportsmanship is for fucking losers. Oh, Hard I don't know. Only take it if you're going to sucker them. 
Oh, Andras actually shook us. Oh, but she can't. She's not letting her pull away. <laughs> <laughs> this storyline is the weirdest, funniest, most amazing thing. I don't, I don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> and Azumi. Is she going to start this thing? I think she's going to start it with Andras. That's yep. horrifying. <laughs> Azumi's reaction there was gold. Oh, the bell rang. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and give it her the hand again. Again, Azumi. You wouldn't want to take it a second time, right? Oh, kicks it away. Kicks it away. Flips her off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, Andras is a lot stronger than you, girl. Holy shit. You will join Oedo Tai eventually. <sighs> and now, ring in the arm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Ozzy the counter. Oh, body shot there. And now, wrist lock. <laughs> she wanted a handshake again. Oh, my God. Oh, back and forth. And they get him with the handshake. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all part of the plan. Oh, she slapped oh, her. Oh, <laughs> that was not nice, Ozzy. Oh, my God. As they're there, That's drop kick. Dude, she's so good. Taking out Kagetsu, taking out Natsu. And there's the tag to Momo, and B gets in as well. Shoot no. She's not tied. Things. Forearm. Oh. Snap mare. Double shoot kick. And now Momo. I already told you, Momo, no matter what you do, you know it's fruitless. <laughs> I know. Terrible. Am I or am I correct? No, you're terrible. I mean you you can be both, but you're you're mostly <laughs> It's like, I won't call it a question that you can be accurate, but you should still feel bad about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Andra's now picking Momo up. Oh, my yeah, God. Tagging Kagetsu, she's going to bring the pain. Spit in her face. Oh, she got the Hydrated. water going. She is fully prepared to spit in all the faces. Yes. she got to gargle it first, though. Yeah, prep that shit. Shoot her into the ropes, and... Rise and shine, Momo. <laughs> oh, here it comes to B. Got her. Oh, Azumi ducked it. She has something for the ref. There we go. <laughs> Surprise, could get to even wanted to spit in Azumi's face, given, you know. Just Azumi ducked it, though. She's so good. She's a fucking prodigy, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Scoop slam there to Momo. Oh, and here comes Natsu. Freshly named champion. Huh. And not to look at that knee oh. to the throat. <laughs> How you breathing, Momo? And kick there to the arm. You're not gonna call Momo an asshole? No, she's she's still adorable. I just think she's hopelessly naive. Uh oh. And not to. What is Asumi doing? She's going around to. What is she doing? I have no idea. Wait, did she, did she leave? I just saw somebody walk up the ramp, like run up the ramp. I didn't see that. Yeah, dude, if you... Oh, she oh, came she's back. Okay, back. yeah, I guess that was what? her. What? Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm almost getting picked apart right now. Oh, what a tie is so dominant. God, I love that I gravitate naturally to winners. Oh, oh, not too. oh, oh. I'm out of the way. Oh, she's gonna oh, do the stank and... buster. Oh, she just drop kicked Natsu's face into the turnbuckle pad. No, 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 don't do it again. Oh, and a shotgun uh -huh. drop kick there to the chest. Cover. Two and no. And tag there to here B. Oh, Q -Q. God. Here they come. This is the powerhouse right here. B, world champion. Not oh, missed. Yeah, Natsu. Oh, but B, the oh. athleticism, jumps over the top rope, blocks the forearm, head into the turnbuckle, 
They're a Gamangiri or an Enzigiri probably was more like. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to come good. off the top rope with another drop kick? No, not Sue. Closes. B with the roll. What the hell kind of suplex was that? It was like a, like a release exploder there and kick out there by Natsu. It's going to be a knee. For the bicycle knee. Tag into Kagetsu, I believe. Oh, that's what it was. There's the tag into Kagetsu. She wanted to whip her. God damn. And nice shoot kick. Shoot kicks from Kagetsu. Another shoot kick. Oh, my God. Into the corner. What a forearm. What a suplex. Kick out. And now Odo Tai clear on the other side of the apron. Head scissors here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, B checks the lariat. Saito! What a Saito suplex there. That was devastating. In. Kagetsu kicks out, though. Let's not forget, this matchup happened back in May. B winning the World of Stardom title from Kagetsu in the first place. That's right. Excellent point there, Ash. Actually, it might have even been March, not May. I want to say it was actually March. But oh, look at the modified rings of Saturn the here. From Kagetsu a few months ago. <laughs> it's one of the months that starts with Ma. And now. God. This crucifix armbar. And Kagetsu there got her foot on the bottom rope. It's like an arm trap Gargano escape. Yeah. Be slapping the canvas. And, oh, missed. Forearm, elbow, forearm, boot. Boot to the back of the head, boot to the front. All three boots. Kagetsu now, Fireman's Carry. Yes. Samoan Driver. Which, what, drop, what's the proper name of it? Yeah. And the breakup there. Azumi and Momo breaking up the pen. Yeah, I was actually right. I actually remembered the name of that move. The Bisu drop. Oh, the roundhouse kick from B, though. This is not good. Oh, the roundhouse from Kagetsu. Azumi is the only one on the apron for QQ. Oh, uh, are we about to get an Azumi versus uh, Kagetsu interaction? I think we are, partner. There's the tag. There's the tag. It's going to be interesting. In. Heading up to the middle rope. Momo. Clears the apron of the other team. And now, Azumi. Shotgun drop kick off the top, or the middle rope. And. Oh, Kagetsu, though. Not going to let her get his vertical suplex off. Oh. I'll counter. Swing and a miss. Just roundhouse kick by Momo. Now, Azumi with a vertical suplex. Nicely done. But only a two count. Now, Baron, that means it was in May. Cut. Azumi, oh, what a strike! That was a punch, those are illegal. Yeah, but it's a lot of time, they don't give a fuck. No, but like, those are like highly, highly, highly illegal. I mean, I guess they're not as sensitive about it now as they used to be, but what a cross body! Yeah, oh, now Momo, what Sorry no, Momo, oh no. Oh, yes. And. Oh, and now look at this, Azumi. Oh, here it is. Crucifix. Oh, I was going to say, I shouldn't have said crucifix. It was a seated Marafuji. Yeah. Seated Fujiwara there. Thank you. God. I'm getting my names mixed up like crazy. It's okay, friend. And now could be a Queen's Quest triple team on Gagetsu. Don't do this to her. <laughs> no. <laughs> triple drop. Yeah. <okay. laughs> And top rope. 
double stomp. Oh my god. She is just going what? ham on Kagetsu right now, isn't she? Well, I mean, that is a former World of Stardom champion she's in the ring with. That's huge. I know, but like she wants to mentor Azumi. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is one way to mentor direct physical contact. <laughs> Just like I'll, I'll I'll let you build your confidence up. Oh, yes, uh -oh. Andras. Andras has her. Now abduct her and then just give Queen's Quest the win by counting. Oh, the roundhouse! Oh, wow. She can go for another Ibisu drop. No, oh, be, oh. sunset flip. What? Oh, I get two reverses. Yes. How's me reverses? Getsu, two, no. Azumi, oh, she bridged it. She bridged it. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh. I thought she was going to get her. That would have been crazy. And Azumi now. Oh, shit. Yes. With the arm bar. Oh, but Azumi, Azumi two. Oh. Oh, and, oh, and now I don't even know what she has locked in. Oh, it's a Kimura. Kagetsu with the Kimura. Tap. She's yeah, she tapped. Damn. Wow. Good effort, but not good enough. That was a really fun match, though. Yeah, it was. Damn. Look at Natsu kind of working her way over towards Kagetsu. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Andres. <laughs> Andres is checking on Azumi. <laughs> They're like, fuck well, off. And she's just like, no, you fuck off. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, she did say she's like a mom, so. <laughs> she's trying to leave with them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she really wants to go with them. <laughs> oh, my God. Chief in, uh, <laughs> Azumi doesn't need Kagetsu. I beg to differ, Chief in. I think she could learn a lot under the Oedotai learning tree. Look at Andras. She's so down. Oh, my God. This story just got a whole lot weirder, and I kind of love it. Yeah, absolutely, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's that. All right. All right, well, I know you did say you wanted to watch the opening promos and just the closing stuff from the main event, so I am at 28 seconds for this. Oh, okay, excellent. Yeah, we're going to go to 28 seconds, and then we're going to just kind of find the, uh, the end of the match where we're assuming Utami is going to retain, and then we'll watch, like, the, the close of the show. 25, 26, 7, 8. Okay. I'm at 28 seconds. Go ahead, John. Uh, three, two, one, go. Today is my first time. Today is my first time in a match. I want to be the new champion. Yeah, well, I mean, good luck, but come on now. Is Utami? All right. Today is my fourth future title defense, and I face Leo Onozaki. Has changed a lot. Uh, Leo's changed a lot in the past year with time off, a new unit. She's in Queen's Quest. So she's in the same faction as you. It's an important title on the line. It is an important title. It's the future. She wants to win and defend the title. Okay, that's it. Uh, fast forward. Let me find a spot. All right. Go. Uh, 11, I would say just 11.15. Utami did win. I mean, pretty decisively. She won in like eight minutes, I want to say. Like, that was the main event. She won in like seven or eight minutes. Can you give that timestamp? Because I saw somebody took the mic, but that's like around like 11, uh, like 11.55. Like well, that's, I'll just catch up to you then. I'll go to 11.55. That's fine. All right. 11.55. Okay. I am at 11.55 on the Utami versus Leo video. And if you're ready, John, I can count us down. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right. Um, I don't know who this woman is. I genuinely do not know who this woman is. I don't recognize Yeah, I don't either. Shinkiba fans, nice to meet you. Shinkiba fans, nice to meet you. Yeah, that's what I just said. I am a pro wrestler from Just Tap Out. My name is Maika. 
October 24th, Cork and Hall show. I'll be wrestling Utami Ahashi. Okay. It was a silent little main event over Taka and Daisuke. Damn. So she's got to be a big deal if they're going to main event over that match. Future belt is for young wrestlers. September 24th at Cork and Hall. Why don't you put that belt on the line? Damn. How young is this woman? I don't know. Yeah, you did. Well, she came from another organization called her out. So yeah, you can challenge me for this title. Defend this belt against Maika in the main event. Okay. Look forward to seeing you at Currican Hall. Apparently, they have almost identical ring gear, too, so it's going to be really weird. September 24th. Oh, tell oh, me, wow, be the dude. Champion. Apparently they're both rookies because I just looked and Micah only just debuted on May 7th of this year. Damn. She debuted and defeated Mima Shimoda. And her signature moves are a cross arm breaker and a judo throw. Like, she is very new. And that's going to main event over Taka Michinoku versus Daisuke Sekimoto? Are you kidding me? Damn. Um, she must be really good. Like, she must be, like, just tap out prodigy almost, you know? Yeah, that sounds that's crazy, crazy, man. Crazy. All right. Well, that's that, though. All right, that was really fun. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Match of the night was easily Starlight versus Tam, but I really enjoyed pretty much every match. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is a really fun day today. I got really into this, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. I want to thank everybody that came out. I can tell that we're going to have a really core, loyal following the deeper we get into stardom and the more established this becomes on the channel. Yeah. Uh, and it's just really cool to see. So Aaron, Chief in. Abel, everybody. Let's see if I forgot anybody. Derek. No, you got Derek. Derek was early on, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank all of you. Uh, Kirby Freeman. Yeah, Kirby, become, of like, course. A, more common, Nigel Coleman. Nigel was so, here. And, and Mets was here for, like, a message. So thank you for popping in, Mets. Mets was here for a few messages. Yeah, so, yeah, just, just good shit. Good shit all around. I appreciate all you guys coming out. And again, leave a like if you haven't, although we've got eight people watching and eight likes. So I think we're good on that front. I'm going to hand it over to Ashton to take us home. And we'll see you back in uh, just shy of like 40 minutes for our takeover Toronto preview and predictions. So absolutely. Ashton, we do home. hope that you guys enjoyed and we hope that you will uh, kind of uh, show up again at 9 p.m. Eastern time for our preview and predictions to take over Toronto on Saturday. So that's later tonight at nine. And then tomorrow we have G1 at seven and then SummerSlam preview predictions at nine Saturday. We have G one at five. I want to say, and then again, you know, take over Toronto live reactions Sunday. We have G one at four and then SummerSlam live reactions Monday. We have G one final live reactions at noon. And then we will be live reacting to the post SummerSlam Monday night raw and SmackDown on Monday and Tuesday. And then next uh, next Wednesday, we've got NXT. And then next Thursday, we've got more stardom. We're going to be reacting to the Karakin show. I cannot wait because you guys got to realize we're going to be getting B versus Utami. We're going to be getting Arisa versus Jungle. We're going to be getting the Odotai Civil War artist title match. 
And we're going to be getting Riho's debut in a three-way, it also involving Starlight Kid and Death Yamasan defending the high speed title. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So the next week is going to be a really fun week, I think. And even if it's not all fun, it's at least all going to be entertaining. Because if SummerSlam isn't good, we'll make it entertaining by just shitting all over it. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. So just please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, follow us on Twitter and Twitch, like our Facebook, buy our merch on Teespring, donate to the Patreon, and share this video and this channel with all your wrestling fan friends. And of course, for tonight, because we do have our NXT TakeOver Toronto preview predictions tonight, remember to, of course, stay tuned.